Generic greetings and welcome to Production Line, a game I haven't played in quite some time and that's a shame because during its early access period I was playing and displaying it quite heavily and really enjoyed it but um, since... I wouldn't like to wager exactly how long, it's certainly not an inconsiderable amount of time since I last played it. I know there's been a lot of additions and changes and it's now out of early access and actually just recently received its first DLC which is called Doors That Go Like This which is about gullwing doors and butterfly doors and um, sports cars and such. So I thought I would jump back in, I thought it would be a decent opportunity to do so and um, maybe not relearn the game but certainly uh, get back in touch with it and just see what it's all about and um, just check it out I guess. It's version 1.74 and as I said we've got the, uh, the Doors That Go Like This DLC. Let's just go to a new game and we'll say me factory. Now I have loaded the game up and uh, jumped in to see some of the menus but uh, that's pretty much as far as I've went and I certainly haven't produced a car yet so uh We'll see where that one goes. If you're not aware what the game is, essentially the uh, <laughs> the title sort of gives it away really, production line. It's, it's a factory building game. You're building a production line, uh, specifically a car production line. So it's not just about making the fastest car or the best looking car or the most cars or the cheapest car or the car with everything. And we in the past we have done series where we've uh, built all of those and done that sort of thing. However, it's about uh, efficiency and uh, not just being resource efficient but time efficient and make sure everything is um, working at sort of one, one time ratio as best you can. And like with all of these factory games, it's almost impossible to get it exactly right, but you know, you do your best. Anyway, we need to create our car company, so we're going to go with generic um, transport solutions. So it's a GTS. Cool. If you got GTS on the back of your car, you'd be pretty happy, I would imagine. Um, I like where some of the badges are... Um, Similar to some of them in existence. Um, I'm looking at that one specifically going, is that like a Fiat thing, like a bath? Anyway, we'll go to um, this symbol on the left there, and why not? So we're just going to have a look around, and we've just got a, a little um, message from our chief operating officer. This is just basically giving some clues and advice. So we need to produce more cars of the budget sedan market. Well, that's good because in terms of cars, we only have the sedan. So, um, yeah, we need to produce those. How do we produce them, you may ask? Well, we need to build a production line. So we've got a slot, and we can see all of the things in here. So what what we're going to do is just build a very, very basic production line that builds sedans. It's not going to have any additional technology or features or anything like that, and it probably won't be very efficient. There'll be bottlenecks and all that sort of thing, but at least we're producing something. So we have um, 1.7 million in order to build this, so let's crack on. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea, by the way. So I'm going to work back over. I don't know why. It just seems to be uh, the way of things. So we go to export. That's the last thing in the list. And we need to go over to the blue slot. And we place that there. And that's our export... Um our export module and you can see that there are two tasks in this we've got uh, that this that that's denoted by these two lines and then the final total line there so you've got paperwork uh, is the first task and then finally um, shipping and getting out there and you can see that we can expand on these so instead of just doing a quality check we can go visual inspection a performance check and all of that emissions check and all of that sort of thing um, and the reason you would do that is because in order to fit more advanced modules and technology and features, you need to expand your line and put it, instead of just, uh, instead of being on this sort of tier zero level, you have to drill down into it. And we'll do that later on, probably. Anyway, so this has a total time of three minutes. We're going to say um, any, any, any module or any part here that doesn't, uh, say, complete in ten minutes or less, we're going to build more of. So we're going to have a car coming off the line at the latest every 10 minutes so let's go for that so export is there done quality check is five minutes so we can just go straight plunk it right next to there we don't need to put any gaps there obviously you do have the, these uh, conveyors but we don't need to do that electronics is two minutes so once again we put it right next door we're not going to um, connect it with the conveyors just yet uh, so it's uh, exports and then quality check and then fit electronics and then accessories accessories are every 14 minutes so ideally we need two of those so these are coming off here just well 14 it's a 14 a bit yeah 14 minutes and 36 seconds so we'll have two of those so you're getting one every seven and a half seconds and why is the this guy giving this chat looks we need to produce more cars yes i'm sure i paused it pause don't play pause please i just don't want to burn any more money right so that's that put in um i actually will go for converse systems now because why not and it's quite easy to place these in and there we are we haven't connected them to stockpiles that's a whole new t that's a whole other task let's go for back from our accessories into fit engine engine is 22 minutes so i want to have um well two of them would be 12 so sorry 11 so we need probably three of these then to just be uh, as best we can um fit engine fit engine and then finally a third fit engine so we're going to convey that down the reason i've done it this way is because I prefer to have it coming down and then back up like that, just so you don't get um, 
some iffy uh, iffy routing, although I'm guessing that's been massively improved since I last played it. Anyway, so that is the engine there. Painting is oh, 34 minutes, so if we had three of them, yeah, we'd be down to... Uh, about, uh, we need four of them, ideally. Ideally, we need four of them. So we're going to place them in, in and around here. We'll say uh, one, two, three, four. And once again, the conveyor is going to come down to there and then in there and then come along. In terms of cash, how are we doing? We are doing not great, so we'll have to... Uh, well, we're actually almost there. We've just got the fit in the body. That's 32 minutes, so... Um, could we get away? No, we're just going to have to... Uh, I'm just trying to think. Do we want to go... Do we want to go with... Do we want to go with that? Nah, we'll have four. We'll just put a one to one. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's your fit body on there. And this is where the backlog will be. It'll be around here, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to. We'll have to see when we go. And then finally, fit chassis, which is 30 minutes. So, quite frankly, two of these will do the job quite nicely. Um, uh, what I can do is place one there and place one um, there and then it just means we can go out to there and then to there and then same for this side and then we are going from there. Okay, so that's not too bad, he says. Uh, let's go to resource conveyor and we want to place a resource conveyor in there, in there and then finally over there. So, hang on, that's wrong. A resource importer, I meant. Resource importer, resource importer and uh, we're out of money. So, let me just get a bank loan. Loans, um... We probably don't want to take a massive loan. Um, that one is acceptable. And resource importer over there. So there's our resource importers. We need to go to resource conveyor. And we need to connect all of these up. So we'll have um, this. How do we want to have this? Um, this one connected to that. This one connected to that. Okay, I've worked it out. So that'll connect to that. And then these will come down. And across um, you can build across the machines in some areas not all of them it's uh, certainly not a hard and fast rule that in fact we're probably going to experience that in but a moment if I try to go across there it is fine going across there is not fine though so we can just do that though and that should be okay and then we're gonna come uh, actually we'll sell um, ah that's a problem uh, we're gonna have to sell uh, that and I know there is a button to only delete the resource conveyor, but I don't know what it is. So, um, uh, whoops. Um, mm, I know there's a button to delete just the resource conveyors, but like I said, I don't know what it is. So, uh, we're just going to go down from there. <laughs> it matters not. Um, and there we are. So, that's that connected up. Just a little bit more now. Um, just these, which will come uh, probably up to there and then across. Oh, let's get rid of that. And we want to go down to there. We'll probably bring it down and then across. And um, John Wick's a good film, isn't it? Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it the other day, quite good. No relation to this at all, I just need to get it off my chest. I quite enjoyed it um, for the millionth time. Anyway, no resource stockpile, however, that is not the case because if I unpause it, we should now get some resources coming in. That's not the one I wanted to press. So you can see all of these resources are streaming along and actually we should start to produce some cars now. If we click on this, you can see that this is now a sedan schedule. Uh, we can't change the schedule um, simply because there's nothing to change it to, I believe, but um, we will now start to produce some cars. So we have a little zoom in there and um, that's going to put together the uh, the chassis. So you can see the current task is a front axle fitting, then after that it is front drive shaft and then all of that sort of thing and the cars will uh, move along the line. So there's the chassis getting assembled. We've got some um, little meeples there standing around and uh, tappy tappy on buttons and big coils of um, aluminium and aluminium and aluminium and whatever the other pronunciations are for that. It might be stainless steel. It might be titanium. It might be lithium. Don't put water in it. It could be all sorts of stuff. We don't know. Although a lithium car probably wouldn't go so well. Either way, the car that we are making now is getting assemblerated and you can see we've got a nice brushed aluminium uh, front there or maybe is it, uh, well, it might even be brushed um, brushed cheese for all I know. I've never made a car before, but I assume it's some sort of metal. Uh, and then you can see we're actually getting this painted. And the colours, this is, I think, I think it's quite a, quite a decent thing actually. The colours, uh, you unlock more colours by getting different achievements in the game, <laughs> which I thought was a interesting one. Uh, it's not difficult to get uh, the achievements, as you can see. We've got uh, loads of these here, and um, according to my Steam. Uh, 
read out. I've only got about eight hours on the, this version. I did play quite a bit, though, before I came to Steam, because it was sold uh, direct. But uh, hey-ho. You can see it's coming along there, and um, we do have insufficient resources, but um, we'll have to... We might have to change that up. In fact, let's change that up. Let's go over to this area again and go to facilities. And we're going to place uh, one, two, three research officers. And we'll pause it for a second while we go into research. And now we have technologies, processes, and car designs and we can research different things so safety features driver assistant environmental features entertainment performance features etc so we're going to go with actually i'm guessing that says they're aluminium body so i'm guessing it is a steel body that we're making this out of let's go for safety features and we'll research that and you can see how many research labs we've got and points per minute etc processes same thing although we need to sell cars in order to start to unlock that um one of the things that happened in the past is uh and there was a bit of a balance issue when it comes to um, other other companies selling, uh, researching um, technology. And uh, you could be out tech very, very, very quickly. Obviously, can't come into that at the moment because uh, I'm assuming it's changed for the better. But we are now getting cars rolling off the production line. If we go over to our uh, showroom, we can see there's no car, cars there. But in terms of market, we uh, do have some customers there. Uh, and market analysis, we can see that um, there is a, a decent market for this budget sedan. Uh, we've also got a SUV mid-range and compact. I wonder if there's like a like a sports car, like a really, really, really small one. Uh, it does say sports over there. Um, sports luxury. Yeah, it's 1.9% uh, for uh, for that and same as a budget sports car as well. Anyway, I'm going to actually alter the price of this thing because as you can see there, um, our gross profit is minus 43 grand on this and that's not good, although that will change. It looks like we need to produce a lot more cars. Yes, we are. This will change as we um, sell because it's just sort of catching up really um, because we're just not uh, getting the proper throughputs. Once we've got like a full cycle, we should get the actual proper reading. Uh, there's our cars there. They are selling quite well and you can see now it's slowly going up i'm going to set it for, i'm actually going to keep it as 24 generic uh, 24,000 generic units of currency i think that's uh, not an unreasonable amount and it's certainly selling there in terms of factory efficiency statistics that's a lot uh, that's one thing i noticed there's a lot more statistics to uh, drive it so you can um, you know be a bit more uh, aware of what's going on so you've got vehicle production power so it's four um we've got square meters um actually it shouldn't be four now it should be six surely because we are producing um, yeah, it should be six because we're producing under 10 minutes a piece. Is that right? No. Anyway. Um, production slots, you can see uh, what we're doing. So, waiting for next vehicle, running, uh, waiting for resources. Only 3% of the time we're waiting for resources, and that's uh, going down as well. Components, you can see how many we're using, and this will alter the price of it. Later on in the game, you will be um, building, building the building the resources on site so you'll be you know manufacturing from rot rot iron ore and stuff like that uh, <laughs> um but still you get the idea so if we go over to for example um advanced manufacturing you can make steel sheets and servos and all of that all of that all of those gubbins uh, the gabins. All right, let's, let's go over to here. And there you go. Vehicle production per hour is six. And if we go over to our sedan, you can see we're making uh, nearly five grand profit, which is pretty good. Uh, in terms of loans, we only have the one, and I would like to pay that back, but um, at the moment, we cannot. So we are currently researching and researching quite well. Um, we want to research, actually, if we're going to go right down at the bottom here, administration, and we'll put that in the queue. And the reason for that is I want to get so body design, which unlocks the design studio. And once you have a design studio, there's our uh, research there for administration. Uh, sorry, for um, for safety features there. And it's going to start working on administration. Um, yeah, car design. You can see for technologies and processes, it's research labs. Car designs, you require a design studio. So you just different, a, just a different point that you have there. Um, a couple of things I've mentioned. Uh, you've got energy produced slash consumed. We are using uh, twenty three thousand units um, for this thing, and that's a bit of an issue, I guess, because it's going to cost us quite a bit. In fact, if we go over to uh, where is it? Um, will it, there will be a it's expenses. Expenses, raw materials. Um, it looks like components are 52. Power is 16 grand per hour. So it's not an inconsiderable amount, is it, when you cons when you con when you look at all that. In fact, it equates to... Um, doesn't actually tell me the percentage in there. Although I assume it would. 
looks to be about 25% ish. Yeah. All time. Yeah, capital investment. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and in terms of prices, this will go up and down anywhere. Um, so you can produce power on site, but once again, we haven't got that uh, research. It's a bit of a shame here because we're using. There's insufficient resources around here. These tend to be waiting for resources more than anything else. If we look at this chart here, again, this is um, one of the strengths of the game is that it, it tells you. Um, what you need to know really another a new loan is available from the bank we don't care rival companies are now research sunroof it's now more common than before so you can see it's very rare in budget mid-range and expensive cars but luxury it's now rare so if you it, eventually it'll become common if you if you say if, say for example if i put a sunroof in this sedan that would massively inflate the price because it's desirable people want it however and you and people will pay a premium for it however you can go the other way. People can... Um, oh, there, there you go. Look, it's even more common now. So now it's a, it's rare in expensive and luxury cars. Eventually, it'll become common, which means you want to have it. And if you don't, you get a massive negative because it's classed as a common feature. Just as, say... Um, I'm trying to think. Um, reverse parking sensors probably 10 years ago were a luxury thing. And now they're on a lot of base models. So that's our, that's our thing. Um... What's this? Uh, electric windows. Uh, another prime example. Um, yeah. Maybe not 10 years. I think we come on a bit more than that. Um, things, things like leather seats and ABS and uh, airbags and... You get the idea. And um, uh, an 8-track player. That'll be quite common. Uh, <laughs> right. How are we doing for money? Good money. Um, research is uh, researching. We're going for administration and... Um, what if we put another one in the queue? Will it just split it between the two? It probably will. Um, see, the thing is, there's no point in me getting sunroofs. Um, so there's in-car music is there. Electric windows is there. Sunroof is there because I need body specialization. So you need to get um, more processes anyway. So I'm going for administration. So these are tied to one another anyway. So we'll have to... Uh We'll have to get that in a bit. So um, that's been produced. Uh, rival companies of research automatic windscreen wipers. So yeah, it's starting to go there. The chief operating officer is having a chat. Um, looks like we need to produce a lot more cars in the budget stand market. Well, I planned on this, which is, like you say, a total of uh, six cars an hour. And that's all we can do. This is not, like, negotiable. This is, this is as fast as we can make it. And you can see the backlog is in and around, um, actually probably there, you can see the colours of the cars there, the colours denote how long they've been waiting, so when it's green it means it hasn't been waiting at all, red means it's been waiting quite some time, and then in the middle you've got your yellow which is just, we've been waiting but not not, not, ter you know, not, not terribly long, so we're going to get a backlog up to here, uh, so we really need to speed these up, and the way to do that, there's two ways of doing it, either have more, that's always a solution, or you can um, give them some upgrades, which we don't have because we haven't researched it because it's all based on the research. Speaking of research, we're going to massively increase the amount of research that we have. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we'll get a lot more points, but it also costs more. In fact, I've probably just spent 400,000 on that one. And I don't know if you noticed, but there was a lot of research pop-ups there. So a lot of technology has been researched. So central lockings now there. Sunroof is quite common. Um, and we've got say, all my windscreen wipers and that sort of thing. So we've got uh, eight research labs on the go. 6.67 points per minute. Um, I don't know if rushing for design uh, designs is a good idea. Um, but, you know, you don't know until you know, do you? So there you go. There's... Um, Automatic windscreen wipers. What I found in the pre... What, what always sort of really... Sort of et away at me. Uh, in some ways. Was technologies. Like you would get things like cruise control. You would get that being... And, and traffic aware uh, cruise control. And automatic steering. All of that would be unlocked. Before things like um, airbags. Or um, sat nav. Or... <laughs> Or even things like yeah, like alloy wheels and such, and it just didn't make much sense. I don't know if that's if there's a, I don't know if that's still in the game or whether there's more of a historical focus to things. But obviously these are not like these are not exactly Model T Fords either that are coming off the line. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so we could start to build another line, but the problem again is research and my lack. Of it, um, we're researching that. We're going to go for security features. We'll add that to the queue there. 
um, and hopefully it'll be done uh, quite quick. That's getting done there, and I assume in, this doesn't move when we look at it, so yes, we best not do that. You can see we've got bits to unlock there. You can buy out um, extra parts of the factory. In terms of research, um, it's only placed in this... Uh, I guess you could call it like a either quiet room or a clean room area. We've got one there and one over there, so we can have those add those if need be. It's concerning that this is waiting for resources quite a bit. Um, this not so much. In fact, no, the, the painting side of it is always running. This one, for the most part, running. This one, again, most part running. Are waiting for next slots. So that means the car in front. Yeah. Um... That's okay. That's okay. Those okay. So it's really this, isn't it? It's because it's quite far away, I think, and there's a lot of resources streaming off that. I could connect it up to this resource importer, and that might help. So maybe we'll do that. Actually, another solution is we can use supply stockpiles. So each of these, if we have a look at them, requires. Uh, we'll just pause it. Requires actually a, lot, a decent amount of parts. We're needing tyres, we're needing wheels, powertrains, paint. Um, paint? It doesn't require paint over here, surely. No, requirements for tyres. Steering wheels. It might require paint. Oh, there's administration in the centre there. So we're going to go over to um, body design. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go for... Yeah, well... Uh, uh, maybe more robots, so we can speed things up. No, we need to go for, like, chassis specialize. No, not chassis. Body and such. Specialization. To add more technology, that's all. Um, radiator. Exhaust. Wheels. Tires. So why is it, why is paint going there? It doesn't say it requires paint. Hmm, doesn't say. Unless I'm missing something. Which is almost certain. There's security features, doesn't take long to get there. Um, you've got central locking there, but it requires door specialisations. We'll go with, um, what else can we get in here? Convenience features, so all my windscreen wipers and that sort of thing. And then we may go for entertainment after that. So fit radiator, fit exhaust, yeah. We could put a stockpile in there, but the stockpiles you have to uh, manually set up. So when you place that, you select it and you add item. Add item. Um, although you can copy from slot now, which is something I did not know. That is good. Um, so the slot that we need to copy from is uh, the fit engine. Okay, so copy from slot, fit engine. And what that's going to do is, ah, it's going to bring the resources in. That is good. Let's delete that, actually, because we do not need that. Oh, 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 dear, oh, dear. Everything's, everything's gone to pot now. Um, Hang on. Let me just uh, research some of this stuff here. Research that, and we'll pause the game while we uh, fix this thing. So remove that. We want to put resource conveyors back in like so. But we also want to get a couple of supply stockpiles. We're going to place them... Um, We'll say one, two, like so, and that does have a connection there. Copy from slot, and we want to say fit engine, and you notice there now we have more options, fit engine, and what will happen is it'll stream down here and place them there, so instead of having to bring them all the way from there, it can um, bring them up and round, and that might give us a, night, a little buffer there, it might. I do stress might. Um, insufficient resources. Look, looks like it's not working at all. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, because it'll just be trying to fill the stockpile. I think it's just a throughput problem. I think it's just a throughput problem, really. Yeah, in fact, a lot. it's actually made it worse because now it's having to stop this line to then move back that way. Although, no, because it can fill these and then do that. Uh, I don't know if mathematically that is better or not. Um, looking at it, possibly, as a cursory, cursory glance and all of that. Anyway... Convenience features now complete rated. Uh, we're going to go for enter entertainment. Um, how are we doing for um, this? Uh, sorry, where is it? Do you want to go for research centers? Body design. We'll add that to the queue. There we go. 
But anyway, that's um, a very basic production line. That is that is all it is. Um, I wonder where the Gullwing Doors are. It'll be in research, won't it? Uh, under car design, I'm guessing. Uh, in fact, there it is there. Gullwing Doors, Butterfly Doors, and Scissor Doors. Uh, so Gullwings are your, are your DeLorean. Uh, butterfly Doors are... Uh, are those hinged twice, like the one of the Tesla models? I don't know which one it is. Um, and then scissor doors go forward, like your Lamborghini type thing. That's that's what I associate them with anyway. But I'm obviously this, the, not just on those cars. Um, but when I think Gullwing door, I think DeLorean. <laughs> I think uh, you know the the Back to the Future car essentially. Um, the DMC one was it the, was it the only car they ever made? I think it was. I think it was. I know there's a lot of financial troubles and stuff like that with it. Yeah, and it was hideously underpowered as well, as far as I remember. Uh, I think there was plans to make a, a faster engine, but um, went out of business before then. And didn't he, didn't John DeLorean try to transport loads of drugs across the sea? I don't know. There's a whole history behind that that I'm not going to pontificate about at this point because I don't know much about it. Anyway, so we've now researched some more stuff. We're going to go with body design and uh, crack on there. But anyway, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to play around with this factory much more because, as I said, this was just sort of jump back in, trying it out, and um, yes, can confirm, still fun, um, much better in terms of the readouts, very happy with that, can see all of this stuff, don't completely understand all of it yet, but at least if you can measure it, you can manage it, oh, vehicle production now, a seven, um, and you've got a lot more readout for what's happening and all that sort of thing. This is becoming a problem already. We're dropping behind on the technology. But in terms of cash, we are going up, which is good. And if we can pay back that loan, um, that'll be quite good. But then we want to probably start to produce different cars. And different cars would be... Well, you also, so you've got SUVs, you've got... We've currently got sedans on there. Um, that's our entertainment there done. Uh, do you want to leave that? Uh, or is it going to... Does it research this? Does it research one thing first? Maybe it does. Maybe it researches left to right. I don't know. Anyway, there's still research on the go there. Uh, body design. Okay, yeah. I don't know if it researches two. Let me set the performance features and wonder if it says both. No. It's, so it does it in order of where you've selected it. By the look of it. So yeah, body design first and then performance features is grayed out. So that's the next thing in, in the line there. Anyway, uh, Chief uh, C, uh, the C... Or, or um, need to produce a lot more cars. Thank you for that. Um, I wonder if I can put the price up. I bet you if I put the price up to uh, by a grand, I bet you because it's now mid range, it probably won't sell. And we'll see if this goes up. A um, couple of things I haven't shown you. Uh, you've got marketing, uh, which was in the game when I last played it. Uh, you can uh, market it and do things, but I think there's more of it now. Uh, cer certainly market analysis wasn't there. Uh, what type of cars have we got? We've got supercars, SUVs, sports cars, sedans, off-road, compact, small van and pickup. Um, I'm wondering if electric cars, whole electric cars are in the game. Um, that'll be under... Um, technology, it won't be under performance or convenience or envi environmental, climate control, heat seats, steering wheel, uh, leather seats, uh, ambient cabin lighting, driver assistance, no, uh, driver airbag, no, but no, it doesn't look like it can fire. Oh, there we go. Electric powertrain is in there. Yes, large battery pack for fast electric powertrain, and then other ones there. I wonder if hybrids are in the game. I don't think they are. Um, I mean, there's, there's there's a lot of scope for DLC. I would have thought that electric would have been um, DLC stuff. Oh, obviously, it's more standardised um, than it was certainly over at least a couple of years ago. Um, it's just where the uh, things are moving, which is good. Um, you know, uh, less less diesel more better um uh, anyway so that is still selling but it is staying there a little bit you can see we've got car details uninstall features on oh, defects as well um there's you get defects you get breakdowns I, I i know of it but i haven't experienced it um so yeah there's a hell of a lot being added since i last played it and um i might have to play some more. If that's something you would like to see, then by all means, let me know, and uh, we will go from there. A new loan is available, but we don't want that because we want to really repay our old loan, which means it's all profit until we go out of business because we're not innovating. Cool. <laughs> As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more of this sort of thing and uh, whatnot. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.